Salutations. Are you trying to install Slackware 15 like I have right here? If you aren't, uh, consider using Grab instead of Lilo. Just follow me with this video. Okay? So, first of all, you do uh, all the steps that are needed. Like you want to install Slackware normally. Okay? Here press enter if you want. No need to follow the steps that I'm gonna do because this is not about installing Slackware fully. So do all the steps that are needed and then whenever you are about to install and set up Lilo on your system, come back here. I'm gonna pause the video and then whenever it's the time to set up Lilo, I'm going to show you what to do exactly to replace it with Grab. Are we clear? Alright, see you. Alright, I believe that you are done with installing the packages that you have chosen. No matter what they are, they don't necessarily need to be in any specific, uh, let's say, combination. You don't need them to be exactly in a specific combination. All you have to do is to install the system. And whenever you reach this step, I want you to follow me. Alright? Because this video is about skipping the installation of Lilo and replacing it with Grab. In case you are installing Slackware from the scratch. I'm not talking about if it is installed. Okay? Make sure you are with me in this step. Once you are with, if you still didn't reach this step, reach it and then I'll come back and I will show you what to do exactly. You can pause the video and go to finish all the steps before this one. Once you reach this one, come back here. If you're with me in this step, let's continue. If you skip it or you have uh, like you are more ahead from me when it comes to this step you may need to restart the installation as long as you did not do it the way I'm gonna show you now alright so let's assume you are with me in this step what should you do here you just choose skip do not install Lilo press ok this one no need to worry about it and so on if you have chosen to skip Lilo, I hope it's clear, you just choose skip, continue with the rest until you reach the step of being able to reboot your system, okay? Once you reach the step of being able to reboot your system, your system is almost ready, don't reboot it and come to me, I'll show you what to do next, okay? I'm gonna do the same, once I reach that step, I will be back to you, the step where you can and I can reboot my or your system okay all right the step where you can reboot your system is this one as you can see it in this screen now i'm gonna show you how you can install grab your system doesn't have a bootloader as i guess as as long as you have chosen to skip the installation of lilo so now i'm gonna do what this video is meant for you press ok here and then you exit Press OK. Shell. Make sure you choose Shell. You get the screen. If you still cannot do it, you all caught up. I mean, you didn't miss anything. You still can reboot your system to Slackware Media and uh, do the steps that I'm going to show you. Just like you boot your system normally with the bootable media. I'm not talking about normally from the hard drive, but from the bootable media of Slackware. Alright, so the next step that you need to do is to know what is your hard drive. In my case it's slash dev slash sda1 and then you do smart slash dev slash sda1 on an NT. Oh, it's already mounted. No, no need to worry anymore. No need to worry about that. It's not a big issue. And then you should root like this done all right you clear this and then 
if your system is uh, BIOS, the old one, you run this command like this grab dash install slash dev slash sda or if your system is uh, EFI you must necessarily add this argument that I'm gonna show you right now which is modules part GPT You can uh, add this argument to your system if it's running BIOS, but it will skip it and ignore it and set up grab for you without any problem. But if your system uses EFI, I believe it's going to cause you to see an error and you need necessarily to run it with this argument. I'm just going to keep it in case your system has GPT or EFI and I'm going to show you that it's going to run normally without any issue that's okay you can see here that it says installed from uh, for i386 pc which means it's for bios it means there is no issue here the next command is grab install uh, grab mk config dash o slash put slash grab slash grab dot cfg done alright so the next thing you need to do is to reboot your system you're done already your system is supposed to be bootable and functioning normally or without any issue so I'm gonna prove to you that it's like that let's reboot before that make sure you take off the you need to take off the yes the bootable device so let's reboot I just want to show you that grab is already installed for some reasons you may need to have grab installed on your system on slackware just like me when I was using slackware 14.2 I had an issue with installing Lilo it did not want to install at all and I got a system that is not being uh, not uh, that I cannot access so I look it for a way to install grab instead of Lilo and I installed it successfully let's boot the system uh, before that if you, in case you uh, in case you weren't able to uh, catch up with me for the steps and you forgot to uh, you forgot to keep your system without rebooting once you got the window that says that you can reboot your system you don't need to, re to re reinstall the whole system all you have to do is to reboot it this way to the media make sure you put the media and then go to the boot menu like this in my case it's by pressing F12 in your case it depends on your manufacturer you can check press C and then you go back to the like media as you can see and it's gonna boot to you when you do the same steps but you go directly to chroting so you do ls blk let me make it scaled so you see it better right ls blk mount slash dev slash sda slash mnt yeah, it's press twice enter not SDA but SDA1 sorry in your case if you have it on one partition like the boot and the root file system that you have it on the same partition you do like this otherwise you write you mount your root partition first and then you mount your boot partition second on MNT boot so it becomes like this one MNT uh, boot like this and here the it's gonna become SDAX and that's for your boot partition alright you, you can know it by uh, knowing the size of your boot partition the next is you run the same commands which are grab install 
and there are modules if it's EFI part underscore GPT and then slash dev slash SDA like this yeah so here I had an error because I don't know maybe because it this time it did not want to install so I just install it if it's BIOS like like my case install it without this argument if it's EFI just install it with this argument I have it already installed and then you run the command grab mkconfig mkconfig dash o slash boot slash grab slash grab dot cfg you run it and it's done already yeah never mind it's not a big deal for you it's, you're, it's supposed to work I guess yeah it's because I didn't shoot I got these errors so lsplk it's mounted shoot and then slash mnt and then you can run the two commands again like this I have them in my history because I ran them before for you never mind yeah there is no error reported and then you run this command and it's gonna detect all your things you just afterwards ex exit and reboot your system to be able to see your grab menu installed already I did not take off the bootable media and then now it's time to restart it to go directly to the grab menu that we have recently installed like this alright I hope it's clear if you're interested in such content make sure you subscribe like share and comment and thanks for watching and cheers